25 minutes over the hour, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We broadcast worldwide. It's an outer international thing right here on the mighty call London. Just opening up the doors for my special guest today. I was actually expecting that he was going to bring that BMX bike, but no, actually it weren't his. It was a prop uh, from the BBC. I get, I get so carried away. I get caught up in the moment. You know what I mean? <laughs> Hashtag Grain Chill Gate on Twitter at Call London at DJ KMA. Live and direct, we are in the studio right now and we've got um, Clark Trent, <laughs> aka um, The Crusader, aka Darren Cujo Cole. It's, 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 I like Clark, Clark Trent there, you know what I mean? Test that mic out, let's see what else I'm saying. Let's go check your volume out on that one. One, two, one, two, check, check, check. That's the one. What's happening in London? Live and direct, we're in the studio, um, and I have to say, right, it's just, uh, uh, it's great to have you here. Thanks a lot for turning up as well. No problem. And uh, doing what we do. But um, do, do you get people in your time saying about, um, you know, ah, oh, it's Clark. Did they still call you that or anything? Because you look exactly the same. You're just a bigger version. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> well, it, it should be me because it was me as, as a kid. <laughs> but um, no, I kind of get that a lot still, man. I get, I get a lot of people coming up to me still calling me Clark yeah uh, it's amazing to me that people still remember that that kind of blows my mind away yeah because everyone had their own individual uh, you know of storylines and stuff like that as well and your storyline uh, was you know more prominent with the bike and stuff like that you know I remember I remember watching this as a kid and thinking oh that's a bad boy bike and you know those sort of ones there and you know it was really enjoyable to see but it was funny because coming across the time of I've met you you know through the channels and that sort of thing and then to say oh yeah that's the thing it, just, it, it was a mad coincidence like I said I just for a, for a couple months ago I come across it on YouTube and it was series one episode one yeah. so I said hey I love nostalgia I love talking about the days of old and that sort of thing as so I thought let me let me get right into this yeah. and the next minute I'm up to season uh, 11 going on to 12 and when did you come into it again? I, I think it was uh, I think it was season 12 because it was 1987 that's a wow. minute back like. yeah because it started in 78 it didn't it? it started in 78 yeah and it went strong 
for you know up until I don't know maybe five six seven years ago yeah but I think up until that point it was one of the strongest you know running children's programs on BBC TV so um, you know as as a, as a child actor Granger was the one that was the one you really you know that was the big job it was always yeah. the pinnacle like once you done Granger you'd yeah. arrived but had to, so let's take them right back as well to look they're getting in more facts in there now um, <laughs> how did you get into it how did you get involved in it you know was uh, it something from school or yeah I mean I went to a performing arts school right um, I went to a school called Barber Speaks sta- um, Stage School um, which is partly run by Phil Collins' mum. Okay. Uh, so, you know, contacts were strong, opportunities were good for, you know, people who had so-called talent as they saw it. So, um, yeah, that, that was through my parents. They saw something in me. I was always performing, always pranking around, always, you know, grabbing the mic and doing silly things. Um, so they took it to the next level. Um, I put me into that school, gave me an opportunity to not only perform live, but, you know, to apply for things on TV. Yeah. Uh, which I did. And um, yeah, I was Grange your first acting no, role? Or? I, actually, Grange was my last. Okay, it was like a, a slow build up. Um, yeah, you know, I'd done for, I, I, I'd done two other children's programs prior to Grange Uh One was called The Album. Not okay. sure if you remember that. Yeah. that was called Tricky Business on oh, right. ITV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tricky yeah. Business. Tricky yeah, business. <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. This is going back. But anyway, so um, yeah, I'd done you know adverts, some voiceovers, and modelling. And, you know, many different aspects of working in the industry. Yeah. Um, you know, and kind of built my way up to the pinnacle, which was Grain Jill, which was the last major thing I'd done before I actually left school. Yeah. And how, how long was you in Grain Jill for? I was in Grain Jill for, I think, just about 18 months. Right. Um, I, had a, I had a five-year contract, actually. Yeah. Um, and I decided to break that contract. Uh, at, at the time, it was a decision. It was an educational decision, actually, I felt. I felt being on set every day was was really having an effect on my yeah because that's another thing when people watch it you know you're going to school but how was your school life you know at the same time how did you manage it was non-existent i mean um i mean i was lucky in a sense that i was working constantly my duration at that performing arts school yeah it was just job after job after job after job i literally i, I had the first probably six months that i was at the school where i had no work and then from that point to when I left school at the age of 16, I was constantly working. So when it came to big projects like Grange Hill, it mm. was a matter of taking my homework onto the Grange Hill set. Right. And we had we had teachers who were on set. Okay. That once you had breaks, you'd go into like a little classroom. Mr. Bronson. Well, oh. not, not quite Mr. <laughs> Bronson. Mr. McCluskey. I know they were there. They were there. <laughs> yeah, they were there, but they weren't really teachers. But Mr. It's Baxter. Like, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> It's like we had a classroom situation and a teacher that weren't really your teacher. Right. Uh, so you weren't really learning much, if I'm honest with you. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, I'd go back to school and I'd miss, you know, half the year. Um, and that's kind of the sacrifice that you make if you're going to be working as a child. Yeah. Actor in the industry. So Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, Must have been crazy, though, at a time. A di- so if you're filming, like, you know, most of the day and stuff. So, so oh, okay, they, they had tutors on board. Yes. Uh, to t- uh, t- so you didn't actually go to a, a, a school at that time. Well, yes and no. I for mean, them, for your friends, you know the ones that are your friends. What's up with Darren, man? He just gets away with it. And, uh, well, the thing is, the, God. <laughs> the, good, the thing about it is that everyone at our school they understand the situation. Right. So it's like you know the people who are working because you, you never see them. <laughs> Basically, you yeah. don't see them in class, and that they they just pop up every now and then. You know, in between in, in between shoots and yeah. stuff. So, did, you, did your friends used to show you love? Like, what is Darren in it? Yeah. Oh, clock, yeah. clock. You yeah. know, them ones. I, I, th- I think it was weird for me, but because. Um, you know, I'm mixed with two different sets of people. Yeah. You know, when when I went to Green Zero, I mixed with fellow actors and mm. and the, the people in my class and the people in my school were also the same as me. Yeah. But then my reality was going back to my council estate, which my real friends were. Mm. You know, people I've grown up with. So it was it was a it was a it was you know dealing with two different sets of people. Yeah. It's, like, one, it's almost like two different worlds, I suppose. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But I think it's a good thing. I think it's a you know, it, it gave me the balanced mindset that I have today. Yeah. As far as, you know, being able to mingle and talk to all different sorts of people from different backgrounds. Yeah. You know? So. It must be it must be an amazing experience. I mean, tell us about your typical day back then of what you had to do, how learning your lines and wow. what how did you get on, you know? Yeah, I mean I mean the day was split into two. You had rehearsals and you had filming. You know, rehearsals were just a laugh. You, right. you just go in there and just pee around all day. Yeah. Laughing, joking. You know, um, just just basically being a kid. You know, yeah. you'd 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 go over the script a few times, and then you you know you'd break for lunch. Um, I remember having lunch 
constantly with uh, the EastEnders crew because we were right next door to okay. them. Okay. Yeah, oh. where was it? That's another thing. Where was it filmed? Because a lot of people speculate. We don't know where. Well, well Granger predominantly was filmed at El Street Studios in, okay. in Hertfordshire. Right. Um, in Borehamwood. Yeah. Yeah. But the school was on location somewhere in that area. I can't remember exactly where. Um... But the majority was filmed. I mean, the outside of the school was in L Street. Mm. But then you had different, you know, once you got inside the school, right. you had different, different areas. Some filmed. people said Woolwich, uh, West London. I, I don't know. Do you know what? I remember, I mean, like I said, I remember going on location a few times. Yeah. Um, but like I said, the majority of it was filmed at L Street Studios. Right. And obviously, all scenes that are done outside of that, yeah. you know, is on location. So that basically could be anywhere. Right. Because so. the, the, the estate that you was based around when you was doing your paper round, or when Clark was doing the paper <laughs> round, uh, where, where was all of that area um, then? You don't know? Yeah, yeah. That, that estate, if I remember rightly, was, I think that was in Hatfield. Right. Or somewhere in around yeah, that area. Because Hatfield's close by to Borough Woods. So yeah. It could be. I yeah. remember not driving too far from L Street to go shoot yeah. you know, those kind of scenes. So, um, yeah. Would you say it was fun times as in like, man, you know what? I can look back and say, I did that, you know? That's Do you know what? It was definitely fun. Um, I'd say I probably didn't appreciate the fun aspect at the time, at the yeah. time because I'm, I mean, I was 11 years old. Mm. I'm like 20 now. <laughs> why, why are you laughing for? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, as an 11 year old kid, you kind of probably don't really appreciate what you're actually doing yeah. but I do remember having fun every day I don't remember a bad day there, yeah. whether it's rehearsals or filming I just remember it must have been a laugh as well being at 11 years old it must have been a laugh it was It was a laugh was maybe you didn't realise it as you said because being you know knowing that it's going out on telly or was it a thing of like yeah man I'm on green shield I don't know because attitudes back then was different, different for, yeah. for that generation or, or, of youth do you, you know, know do you know I mean it's funny because like I said Granger was one of the last major things I'd done. Yeah. So I'd done, I'd done other things prior to that. So oh, I, so you I were sort of used, used to, to it, right? Being on TV and people approaching me and, and and all the rest of it. I was kind of. I remember being at that age. I wasn't the type that was like, "Hey, look at me, I'm on Green Jewel." I was actually the opposite. Yeah. And my friends used to always. They used to annoy me, man. Like we'd go out and they'd be like, "Hey, he's, he's on Green Jewel." <laughs> Do you know who he is? Right. Though? Like we'd be in the cinema <laughs> and, and like you know maybe an advert would come. I remember being in the cinema yeah. with a group of friends and I was about thirteen. And I'd done an advert for, I think it was it was some shampoo. Yeah. It was filmed in my school, and I remember it. It come up them times I had actually had hair. Right. Got a big flat top with a with a side step, and the advert came up in the cinema, and I, my big face came up, and then my friends were like, "Hey, who he is? This is the guy." <laughs> <laughs> like, like I, I really, I really actually didn't really like that. I really yeah. hated that situation. I weren't, I weren't the type to be like, "Hey, this is kind of me." Yeah. And I was actually the opposite. Right. Um, so you was grounded, which is a good thing. Yeah, I think I think you have to be. Not you know, not everybody is, but like I said, I think the reason I was grounded is because the environment that I grew in. You know, my typical environment that I grew in was a typical council estate. You yeah. had to be grounded. Yeah. Your friends will let you know if you're stepping out of line. Of course, like, yeah. This is this is reality. You know, don't <laughs> don't get too don't get too big in the water. Yeah. So, and these are friends that you've grown up with your whole life. So they. They, they always push you in they a respect way what you and did. they respect what you do. Yeah, um, apart from those embarrassing moments. Do you know who that is, oh, though? Please, man. <laughs> <laughs> it must be good to... I mean, we've got some more information up here. Mm. Uh, and it says, Grange Hill was originally filmed at uh, uh, real schools in London. Uh, the first of these would be uh, Kingsbury High School in North London, uh, which was used as Grange Hill's setting for the first two series. Uh, for the fir- third series uh, in 1980... Exterior filming moved to uh, Wilsdon High Street. You see, I knew it was somewhere Wilsdon. I was saying West, you know, whatever. Yeah. Uh, but then it, that's it. It goes on and on, man. I mean, it was all over different schools. So okay, mm-hmm. maybe at the age as well, because you got chaperoned around to these places. We got chaperoned. Yeah, um, we had we had chaperones from the school, and there were also chaperones that were, were were there once we got there. Yeah. So obviously, you have to be legally um, of chaperoned course, yeah. and looked after at that age. But yeah, I mean, I think because of the duration of the program, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised I mean it's just the BBC as well you have to go on location you're going to have to there's probably 200 different locations that Granger was shot in yeah um so yeah, I'm not surprised about that at all. Yeah, it's good. I mean, it makes it look like it. You know, you look, look, was it, it actually was re- real to me. You know, and like I said, the way I got back into it at, at, at 30 years of age, and um, you know, when I started watching it again, and it was like 
I remember that. Oh, I remember licking. You know, it just, it's, it's actually a scientific fact. You know, there's certain touches or smells or something that would trigger something in your memory. Uh, it could be a bad memory or good memory. In this case, it was good memory. And my memory was coming on from school and, oh, mom, I don't want to do my chores. Grey Jules coming on, though. <laughs> and I remember sitting on the couch where my legs couldn't touch the floor. And that was my memory uh, yeah. back in the 80s and watching this, pro- this program that I was engrossed in all the time. And then to find, you know, 30 odd years later, I can look at it again and take me right back to that day. And the most important part is I didn't pay no bills back then. So <laughs> it's a happy memory. Do you know what I mean? And that's yeah. what I find myself. I might be in the studio. I might be doing voiceovers or whatever it is or even playing out. And I come back and I get straight on the YouTube rag or we're finished watching. My wife thinks I'm crazy. You know what I mean? I said, no, but I'm watching Grange Hill. Like, what do you mean? Listen to you. You're watching Grange Hill. Do you know what I mean? And I am. And I'm watching it to go through the seasons to say, yeah, but you know what just happened? No. Yeah, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at your time, you, you, your storyline of is a lot of it was with the bike. And you know we got stolen, yeah, and you getting yeah. it back, and all. That. Actually, I can't because there was a few episodes that was missed yeah. on uh, YouTube that wasn't there. It was d- d- deleted yeah, maybe was by the BBC. Uh, did you get the bike back? What happened again? <laughs> because there was a time. One time I remember the last time I saw was you ran over to this guy. Uh, it looked like a home or a hostel or something, and your bike was <laughs> leaning up out the side. <laughs> well, what happened after that? Because it what? got deleted. Yeah. Um, do you know what? I do believe that I did get the bike back. But what what I do remember that it wasn't just about the bike. My character actually was the friend of a guy who was being abused by his father. Oh right, okay. Because remember, Granger used to deal with issues like and, Eastenders. Yeah, they used yeah. to tackle issues like racism, yeah. drugs, and you know they were very good at that. Which yeah. is why I think you know the program had longevity because yeah. it wasn't just a program about it you was know, it definitely teenage, a groundbreaker. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, you know they used to tackle issues, and and my friend in the program was being abused by his father right. and, and, his and I was his, his, his name was Matthew yeah Matthew and he had like a bowler a bowler haircut yeah um, and basically I was his friend um, and, and that was that you know that that was kind of my main you know focus of being that yeah. my main focus of the character because the character um, your character used to wait for him at the gate and then he always turned up late yeah, and then exactly. next minute we saw him in the locker room and he had the big bruises on his back right and, right. He, and he was getting bullied in school by you know the bullies um, yeah these rug I don't know these American football players they oh were, yeah yeah remember yeah. them right, um, right. Oh, what's, uh, his what they called, um, what's, it, what's his name uh, Josh is it Josh I'm sorry Josh, that's his real name I can't remember um, um, anyway there was a yeah. few of them they were bullies in the school so not only was he getting, you know, he said kicked in at home, he, mm. was, he was getting bullied at school as well. Yeah. So it tackled those issues. And, tackled those you issues. You know, what people went through in, in, in those days exactly. and maybe no one didn't speak about, but the BBC broke through that. Exactly. You know, to uh, to do, to do wonder, wondrous things. I mean, it's good. I mean, it's good. Do you ever keep up with anybody from those days or? Um, I, no, I'll be honest with you. Facebook's obviously a good thing. Yeah. Um, I've got one or two friends on Facebook from the programme. Um, however, I lost I lost touch with the majority of those people about twenty years ago. To yeah. be honest, you know. So, yeah. And what do they do now? You know, this is the thing. You know, you, you hear of all these things that go on and what people are doing and what they're not doing. Um, you know, what about you as a person? You know, um, you know, coming from the you say it was your last job. Why? Why was it your last job? Um, I think at that time I left to study to concentrate on my exams. Right. Um, and they say everything happens for a reason in life because at that moment my life took a different turn and you know I kind of wanted to go right and I went left you know it ended up down another road shall we say um, and then became a father at a very young age okay. 20 21 yeah. which kind of refocused my direction um, and obviously you know being a father was a major a major thing so you know the focus then became on you know what's the legacy yeah what can I leave for my children mm. so um, do your kids look back how much kids you got now I've got two okay do they look Boy, back and hi Tia hi Zavi are you listening do, you, do, do they look <laughs> at it and say that was my dad or do you show them like you know I, 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 share, I, don't, I mean they kind of know I'm not sure if they really understand you know the the enormity of the situation because Granger was not a program they watch now. Of course, my son yeah. watches Phineas and Ferb. Right, you know what I'm saying. Um, yeah. My daughter, she's 15. She's you know she's quite grown, so you know she watches Twilight. All these other yeah. Ones. Well, I watch Twilight as well. I can't even lie. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure if they really. I mean, I do show them. You know, I show them fan mail. I still have fan mail. From really, Grange, from Granger. 
Um, wow. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, I've still got the tie and stuff. Like, I've, yeah. got, I've got a little yeah, folder. Of course, I would have that as well. You know yeah, what I mean? It's, like, it's memories, memory, man. Really, it's a, yeah. a big part of I've your life, this, I suppose. Yeah, I've got this dusty folder, man. I, I pull out from time to time. I just, yeah. You know, I kind of show them, um, you know, what I used to do as a child. Yeah. Uh, so when my daughter's, you know, moaning about she's busy at school, she's doing, I said, look, when I was at school, I had no right. chance. This is what I used to Back do. in my right. day. I was Back <laughs> in when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. I mean, so obviously, oh, you so you don't par with anybody, but what about at the time? Who was your best mates at the time, the actors, uh, you know, at the time? Um, I used or to get, used to par with Yeah, you know? I used to get on well with um, character Robbie. Uh, he used to be in London's Burning. Yeah, so if you yeah. Remember, yeah, I used to get on well with him. Um, you know, we kind of connected well. Um, Gonch was cool. Yeah. Uh, Ziggy, Ziggy was my man. Ziggy Green. Liverpudlian as yeah. well. And um, I support Liverpool as well. So right. we, had, we, we kind of had a connection there. And those guys were older than me as well. So they used to kind of look after us. Yeah. You know, when we were getting out of hand and tearing up the BBC and stuff, you know, they used, yeah. to, they, they used to calm us down. Um, to be fair, there wasn't anyone that I didn't really get on with, to right. be honest with you. You know, I'd say, like I said, Robbie, that was my next question. Anyone that you didn't like, yeah, you know, that, not, not that really. guy, you know, Ziggy used to come down. <laughs> I used to feel like, you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. no, I'll be honest with you. I think when you're that age, you're just kind of a little bit in awe as well yeah. of, of the company that you're in. Mm. Um, so you have a natural respect for the people that you're working yeah. with, and then when you actually get to know them, you know, they'll help you with your lines and stuff like that. And yeah, then, you know, just help you. It sounds like a great own. experience. I want to go. I want to go Grange Hill. <laughs> you, you know could. what I mean? I went Northumberland in in Tottenham. <laughs> I wanted to go Grange Hill, man. Do you, know, do you know what I mean? So uh, okay, so let's look at the before and after. So where are yeah. you now? You know, what, oh, wow. what, what is this Crusader? Let oh, him know wow. who the Crusader oh, wow. is. Okay. I was thinking, is he a superhero? <laughs> you know, who, who is this guy? I'll tell you what it is. I mean, Crusader is, um, you know, Crusader's an artist. Um, you know, I start. I'm, I've always been involved in music. Yeah. Uh, even when I was in Grange Hill, actually, um, I used to be in a band at the same time I was in mm. Grange Hill. And we used to do cover songs. I used to you know, play keyboard, and you know, way before that, I, I, you know, I used to perform to reggae music. Yeah. So I've always been involved in music. So um, you know, around around you know early '90s, I started taking music a bit more seriously. Mm. Um, you know, created this this character they call Crusader. Um, you know, predominantly dealing with hip hop music. Mm. Um, I write songs and rap. Also, produce music as well. I produce my own music. Yeah, and, you, and you've got um, videos out as well. I've I've seen them. Yeah, my brother's in one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah my brother's in one of them. So you've got good concepts going on as well. It's, yeah. And it's not just say so you're a rapper. You know, there's so many rappers out there. You do it in a different way. You know, you've got a, the live band element to it as well. I've noticed that, which I can appreciate as a yes. producer to say, rah, you know, this guy's you know doing something different. Nice, yeah. full quality HD uh, videos. Yes. You know what I mean? So you work with a lot of live instruments as well as you know to say you're not just rapping over a, a, a program uh, a beat. yeah no I mean I think as well that's that's definitely um, like I said you know doing music for as long as I've been doing it now you know it's coming up to you know over 15 years mm. you know I put out I don't know six seven albums and EPs yeah. and videos so wow. it's a natural progression for me now to be working with live instrumentation mm. I mean it's great people always want to do that but finding the right people to be able to do that it's a whole nother thing. I think now we have you know, a good team in place. Um, you know, if I want a flute player, I can I can get that real sound in flute. Right. If I want a sax, I can get that real that real sound in sax. So I feel like that's evolution of what I'm doing musically, mm. um, and it's something that I definitely want to push forward. Man. Yeah. Can it, can, is is your album still available for download or? Um. Yeah. I mean, there's a few there. There's, there's a few projects. I mean, if you go to iTunes, you can download my last album. Uh, it's called Eleven Foul Massacre. Uh, shout out to Steady for real on production. Um, you've, I mean, we've got some projects coming now. We've got two projects we're releasing this year. Mm. Um, we're releasing an EP called um, Hip Hop Addiction, yeah. drug, drug music. Um, and then we've got the album um, called The Interview coming later on this year. Right. So there's, you know, videos and stuff on YouTube as well. Um, check it out. I've watched, it what's out. the YouTube channel? Tell the them YouTube, how to get older. actually it. a channel. If you, if you just type in Crusader, C R U S A D A. Um, you'll find you know six or seven videos on there. Yeah. Um, also follow me on Twitter, Crusader One. I need some friends oh, I was on there to ask you that. But the <laughs> thing is, I didn't want to let them know who it was that was coming on because they were just you know, with so many tweets that came through and said, "What? Who have you got? Who have you got from yeah. Grey Jill? What? I can't believe this guy. He's talking about it next minute. That's what I do. I seek them out and find them, you know, to come through. And it so happens that we've got a family link, right. so it's all good. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? But let me tell you something, right? Uh, Trent Clark from that. 
to Crusader yeah. has sent me something special. Now, call London. We're in for something special here, right? <laughs> and it's something that we're going to work with. I guarantee you that. I kid you not. You will find something coming out very soon on the Jungle Drummer Bass tip. But hear this. We're talking about the days of old with Grange Hill and uh, somebody that can talk about it in true form because he was there. Exclusive. <laughs> Yo. I'm old school like Tucker and Ziggy yeah. Behind bike a grove shed smoking a ciggy Cap to the back and tied to the side Plus I still got homework from last week waiting inside Miss McCluskey try to give me a hundred lines All she got was my middle finger hundred signs Got detention for a hundred crimes My attendance is poor and I bunk over a hundred times When it comes to uniform, I ain't rocking no shoes I did that shell toe straight breaking the rules See I got nothing to lose and nothing to prove Smoking weed on GCSEs If I were to choose won't Stop scheming till my pockets fat like rolling My mum told me everything that shines ain't golden I'm holding my school bag with goods to sell It's almost nine o'clock, I think I hear the bell I don't give a damn I don't give a damn What you think, mate? What none of you say? What none of you say, alright? I've listened for years I've listened and look where it's got me Now I'll do this my way Now I'll do it in my bloody way, alright? Yo, see when it comes to my report, every year it's the same Got my potential but lacks focus and aim Staff meetings always cursing my name That kid D is a pain, caught his pants down with a girl named Jane When it comes to lunchtime, I ain't standing in line I'm taking your ham sandwiches, what's yours is mine You can find Flexi in the top shop stealing Pear drops, Coca-Cola tubes and some bonbons Mum said it's cold outside, push on your long johns School trips to France and school trips to Hong Kong Yeah, I'm the one that's disrupting the class Might catch me in the hallway I ain't letting you pass So you give me your panini stickers And all your marbles Think flex ain't collected Must have lost all your marbles Shit stir up When there's beef on the playground Yo man, you your mum man And swiftly I turn round And walk off laughing Cause my day's was done It's only halfway But I'm having so much fun I don't give a damn I don't give a damn What you think mate What none of you say What none of you say Alright I've listened for years I've listened and look where it's got me Now I'll do this my way Now I'll do it in my bloody way, alright? Yo, time's dragging and I'm sitting here trying to stay calm Sick plans about trying to set a fire alarm Trying to bounce out this bitch, I got fish to fry Why well, I hate school so much, don't ask me why The other day my science teacher, she called me a brat But my music teacher intervened and said I could rap So they put me on the school show to strap my stuff Strap one motherfucker, yo, that's enough I was bound from the school show, they sent me home On the way I smoked the ash bliff to get me stoned Cause I knew it was a belt issue, maybe a buckle I might even get a right Hook with a knuckle, no, no, no Mum, no, I won't do no. it again I'll do anything, please let me make my amends Seems like I wasn't really made out for school But I'm grown now and your kid's school is cool It's for cool. real, go to school It's no joke, listen to your mum It's the best days of your flipping life You get me, we know about getting up at 7 in the morning Catching the grains, you'll coach You're getting me cut a J in your eye and then me Free breakfast Sitting down with Ziggy and Gunch What do you know about that? <laughs> Go to school man Owe me a fool Yeah You get me? Two times two is, is, is five That's what I was told <laughs> Wow, loving that man. So what? Yeah. I thought when he sent me this this morning, I'm thinking that it was, you done this especially for the show, man. Yeah. And I was, uh, in fact, it was. It was done especially for the show, but done six years ago. That was yeah. That was done a while ago, man. That was wow. um, that was just me and my boy Church. Shout out to Church Beats for real. Um, we was kind of kicking it back in the day, and we thought, um, you know, let's do something really quirky and 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 try and remind people of of, of who you are. So yeah. he got the sample and you know arranged the beat. I just laced it real quick it's not even mixed or mastered or anything I just thought it was real appropriate it sounds we're great today. it does it so works. yeah I mean it was fun I mean I like I like to I like to have fun with music as well mm. I don't like to be too serious although I do have a serious side when I'm addressing certain issues yeah. as a songwriter you, you know you can't write about it. you know everything can't be all happy and hunky dory yeah. um, but I do feel like it's important to include the fun element in music you've got to yeah. enjoy what you're doing 
And that was just us just blatantly taking a piss. I'm gonna really? work with that. I'm gonna work with that. Watch Mad Ice. We're gonna come up with a drum and bass jungle version of that. Oh, I'm remix. telling you that. Yeah, remix. man. Uh, send a big shout out to uh, Reclamation T. Big up all the Jame Vuka as well locked on. Out to uh, the Double Six One. Big up Seven Two Seven. Out to Trevor and Seven Oaks. Uh, thanks. I-, I know you got it recorded on the uh, podcast, which will be uh, loaded up very shortly on my Facebook pages. Um, Shout out to Ian and E11. Hi to uh, Tom in East Ham. Uh, Gaz in Coventry. Uh, big up to Tammy C. Out to the 828. Big up the 286. We got it on lockdown today. Big up the uh, Major. Uh, enough respect to you. I'll get through some of the text messages very shortly. Um, and we're going to get through another one, which is the current one. Uh, well, one that's been out on, on um, YouTube at the moment, mm-hmm. uh, which has got my brother star, uh, starring in it as well. Great actor. Um, and it's a, there's a message in this as well. Mm-hmm. Within this, we're about, about um, you know, safe sex, so mm-hmm. to speak. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so we're going to get into this one. It's called... Sweet and Sour featuring my girl, Special K. Shout out to Special K. Shout out to my partner, Joe, Clever Monkey. We're doing it this year. Sweet and Sour. Stay safe. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So next up, we have one of the courtyard's most prestigious performers. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Crusader. Check, check. She was light brown, sweet like caramel. Mingled in the hot spot, she knew very well. Hourglass free weekend, she stayed club and she could have any man she wants. It ain't nothing. But this chick, bruv, she ain't right. You could take her to the holiday in the same night. Yeah, as she fronts like she's classy, but deep down inside, she knows that she's nasty. So she's chilling in the field. VIP, dude came through, he didn't know she's HIV She didn't tell him, he thinks he's on the winner She's experienced and this kid's only a beginner What's your name? She replied, Chris Fresh aroma, high heels, she looked clean And she was on him before he could blink So come and hit the bar, baby, let me buy you a drink Never touch a book, book, cover Pretty ass things, cover, cover, cover Never touch a book, book, cover Pretty ass things, cover, cover, Back to Sabuka hey. Smarter says Look boy it ain't what you used to So what you say We go back to my flat You can have me Any way that you want It's like that It's like that Cruising out the A4 Room 6 She licks the lips And puts her hands on his Shh oh, He's won the lottery Smarter says Look boy You best not be front me So that's the end of the drum To start kissing He told her slow down But the chick wouldn't listen She virtually ripped his clothes off On the floor So let me move on There's plenty more Heart sex No protection he tried to put it on, but Christine wouldn't let him One hour, two hours, three hours, four The sex felt so good, she gave it to him raw The climax went straight to his head Then she put her clothes back on and left him on the bed He lit a flag up and cracked the beer But he could hear the words of his dad ringing in his ear Cuss, cuss, cussing. The dog says, Look, the test came back positive. You want to sleep around? That's your prerogative. Now he's got two years to live. Things about his girl that he had kids with. If only the dude just wore a gym for a little more sexy for his life down the chimney. And see some chicks are dangerous and they're addictive to the angel dust. And I don't need to say the moral of the story. Just pack a free pack, that way you won't need to worry. Now he's six foot deep, enough said. Converted into Cockney slang as brown bread. Brown bread. I really hope you relate to this a lot Cause there's a Christine waiting for you and the same fella When you search for girls, especially when you're touring all over the world And yes, I agree, some of them look hot But trust me, you don't know what disease she's got Lady, please swear when you search for guys Appreciate a nice car, that's a great disguise And if you don't want to learn a harsh lesson Use a condom that's designed for your protection Never 
judge a book by its cover. Right. Sweet and sour, yeah. right? So they can find this one on YouTube, the video footage to this one. Find it on YouTube. I just want to say you're the first man to play it on the airways. So really? That was an exclusive. Oh, right. I mean, I, I was expecting the horns and everything to go. Yeah. But don't worry about that. <laughs> it's all gravy. Yeah, you can find it on YouTube now. There's a nice video on there at the moment. Um, just type in Crusader Sweet and Sour it's, yeah. uh, featuring my girl Special K for real and um, the video is a real nice video check it, is, it out it's it is. featuring it's, your brother as the main actor yeah yeah big up yeah. Tony T yeah, Tony T free real. you know what I mean he's in that <laughs> and um, so again it's a message it's not just uh, putting a track out there to say oh yeah I'm a UK rapper and yeah I'm on the streets and I'll yeah. shot you in the face and I'll slap your mum you know <laughs> and uh, my homies in them stomach ache you know it's, it's not it's not like that you've got a, you've got a theme to it yeah. and uh, it, it's got a message in there as well it's a hidden message and I love to play jingles or, d- or dub plates or something that's got a hidden message that people subliminally have to they don't even know it's there exactly. but it's good and you're going to be doing one of those things with this one as well exactly. you know what I mean so exactly. it's, it's it's good and you know you said you can't just you have to understand hip hop music what, what was he saying off here well, yeah no I was just saying you know um, I think you have regardless of whatever music that you go into you need to have an understanding of that music and an understanding for the culture and for someone like myself who's, who's been in hip hop since since Wade since we yeah. were graphing on trains and break dancing up Leicester Square and so I understand the culture so for me to come into hip hop for you know as a as an artist and a producer for the last you know 20 years like I must have an understanding of, of what it is to represent hip hop in its purest form yeah I have no problems admitting that I'm a purist when it comes to hip hop music you know I've you know people have told me down the years you need to do this you need to change everybody's got an opinion yeah but it's like what I represent within Hip hop music is the purity aspect. When you hear Crusader, you know what you're gonna get with Crusader. You're gonna get someone who represents hip hop to the fullest. Yeah. Yeah, I understand about the evolution process of music and things have to change and all the rest of it. Yeah. However, I'm about preserving that that sound, you know, that boom bap yeah. sound. Yeah. That undeniable sound when you hear it, it gets your head snapping. Half the beats today, I hear it and my head ain't even moving a little mm. bit. I'm you know, I'm struggling to yeah. hear. I, I, I used to like R&B. I used to like hip hop. But now what it is today with the transition of how it's changed into, say, the, on, the, on the major scale of like uh, the Nicki Minaj and the Jay-Z's and blah, 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 even the 50 Cent's and those sort mm. of elements of, of US hip hop, you know, where it came from, US. And to listen to it now, it's just, uh, it's just pop music. It's, yeah. It hasn't got, it's, not, it's, it's lost this authenticity oh, as in a point that I can't stand it, yeah. you know. And um, even when uh, I listen to UK rappers now there's so many t- tracks that I get sent through and saying oh madness can you play it on your show mm. I know that you play sometimes you go a bit different with your shows yeah. and whatnot. and I'm like yeah all right, cool um, and I don't because it's, when I listen to it I'm, it's the same old same, same old, old same but old. it's refreshing to hear something like this mm. from a UK artist mm. uh, who was in Grange Hill uh, <laughs> and you know look where he is now he's doing these wondrous things you know yeah. so it's amazing so check this guy out on YouTube Crusader how do they spell it? It's C-R-U-S-A-D-A um, you'll find like I said five or six various videos yeah. on there and various links as well to people that I'm working with um, you'll find yeah you'll, there'll, there'll be a good few on them yeah and I always say R&R rated and recommended oh, that's the one that you've got to check it out because it's real talk out here love, you know I'm talking like the kids in the streets real talk on the streets out here that's how the kids do it you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> they clap and they sort of <laughs> They sort of give it real talk every day. You know what I mean? Fall asleep, wake up, real talk again. Yeah. Um, and they clap their hands. I don't know what that is. Um, right, the next one I've got up here, it says uh, The Watcher. Is that right? Um, no, it's actually Holding On. Oh, the so next track, now. Holding On, is off the forthcoming EP, Drug Music, Hip Hop Addiction. Now, you can only get this on free download via Twitter. Right. So, friend, friend request me on Twitter. That will be available probably in about three or four weeks' time. Shout out to my boy OBX on production. Representing that Manchester town right yeah. now. Yeah, and their Definitely. Twitter account name is at it's, Crusader One. That's right. The number one itself. That's right. All right, let's number go into one. this. Holding, Holding on. Holding on. Yeah. It's like hip hop was a woman, man. I think I'll marry her. For real. real. Check. Check. Uh. I keep holding on. Check. I keep holding on. Love hip hop, that won't never stop. Uh, I keep holding on. Okay, check it. Yo, I love hip hop since the age of 10. With fresh prints, drop girls, ain't nothing but trouble. Before the arm, my knees, the night bubbles. We was all doing the what with feet shuffles. Yeah. It's like. 
If what was a woman, man, I think I'm married. For real. real. Check. Check. Uh. I keep holding on. Check. I keep holding on. Uh. I keep yeah. holding on. We love hip hop, that won't never stop. Check it. Yo, I love hip hop since the age of 10. With fresh prints, drop girls, ain't nothing but trouble. Before the hard money's the night bubbles. We was all doing the what with free shuffles. EPMD and Biz Marquee. Master Race, KRS, Run DMC. Power to the people was public enemy. That's why I keep holding on to all these proper MCs. I keep holding on to all the classic songs. We love hip hop if we don't keep strolling on. And back then, you could have caught me with a gas face. Play Sega sat and listening to Gold's face. Brand new, but you're the cool Mo D. Shimmy, shimmy, y'all rest in peace, ODB. Crusader with a capital C. Plus, I sit heavy over wax like Notorious B. Yep. Yeah. I keep holding on. Uh. We love hip hop, that won't never stop. Uh. I keep holding on. Uh. Okay, check. Hey, yo, Dougie Fresh, Rakim and Heavy D. Sugar Hill Gang, Big L but Busy B. Two rap told me out to rap with passion. Uh -huh. An outcast told me not to follow the fashion. Nah. Yeah, I keep holding on to slick Rick Rhymes. 50 cent <laughs> people back to even shop nine times. Yeah, the Coca Cola move was a super deal. Love him or hate him, I think the dude's super real. Internet rappers cool with their computer skills. But when they step in the booth, they lack the super skills. Dr. Dre, Ice T, and Daddy Kane. 20 years later, his lyrics still in my brain. Kid of slavery, really put this down. House party was hilarious, they put shit down. Can't forget break dance and beat street. Try core quest, DMX, and Mark D. Love him, but that won't never stop. Check, I keep holding on. Check it, a yo, Wu Tang clan of the roots, jungle brothers. Dead press, Queen Latifah, there's plenty of us. Common sense, Jay Z and Nas, Stetson Sonic in the UK, we had Rodney P and Bionic. Silver Bullet, Derek B and Black Wang. Roots maneuver, listen, I'm a hip hop fan. I felt Eminem when he dropped sand. N.W.A. Blood X Clan. Uh, Foxy Brown, MC Light. She was heavy. She held it down for the females. There weren't many. Uh, Snoop Dogg, Gangsta with Della Soul. Yeah. Roxanne, Shante, Rap, the Queens Flow. Yeah. See, if it weren't for them, you'd probably never hear me, bro. Whack MCs, you wouldn't have to fear me, yo. Know where you come from to know where you're going, fam. Now let me get back to practicing my running, man. Chip, I keep holding on. Love him, but that won't never stop. Wow. So many names that I couldn't even mention. I'm loving this flavor, man. It's like it's like I said, it's refreshing. It's good to hear. You know, UK artists doing nice things and using old school samples in the right and in a new fresh cutting edge style. You know, it's not just using it and just oh yeah, they use the track and then find a little beat and put it behind it. It works, man. It's good. Hold it on. Thank you very much. That's all, all about holding on to, you know, the traditional sound of hip hop. Yeah. Again, going back to this whole purist angle. That's what we're doing. That's what we're about. There's no way we can come into hip hop and not represent yeah, the foundation. About what it's about. I've always said that. Know right. where you come from before you know where you're going. Exactly. You know I mean? That exactly. works for me. I and mean, you're going to do a little freestyle for me. You can't come up in the studio without doing a freestyle. Because <laughs> oh. you actually said that, you know, growing up for your years as well, you've always been a, a, a cool London fan. You know, yeah. you know, you, uh, you know you've always listened to it. And you said you got the tapes as well from yeah. Brucky and Debt and then uh, ones I there. Mean, I mean, I don't think you understand. Like, me being in Cool FM right now is crazy because. Yeah. I used to listen to Cool in the early 90s. Right. And I, and I used to have D90s. Remember D90s? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, TDKs. You know, and when they used to snap, it was the end of the world. And where we lived in Acton, it was very hard to get cool. There was only an elite few. Yeah. Me and my cousin, shout out to Mark, Sparks for real. We used to be doing craziest things just to get a signal for Cool FM. I'm yeah. talking literally risking our lives like. 
hangers on our on, on top of our roofs and stuff <laughs> like just to get the feed yeah. so we had every single show from from Brocky to Pressure X and Times 2 mm. to, to Five O and Moose to Navigator we, we, we literally used to supply yeah. the whole area with tapes because nobody else could get the feed Right. so to be here is a, a real pleasure man it's like I've been trying to run up here since you know about 20 years now yeah. man. <laughs> I'm saying so do you, yeah, re- do, you re- do you reckon you could ride over a jungle or a drum and bass beat are you versatile like that or do is know, it just do you know, know it's, it's funny you said that um because I tried that recently mm. and it does work if you slow down the tempo. Of course, yeah. Well, you've you know, got loads of people out there, you know, the, the, the ra- even people like Det, you know, their mans are very versatile for how yes. you could do it. You could do the fast tug style, exactly. you could do the slower one. You've got people like MC Fearless and those guys who innovated that sort of rapping style over drum and bass so they could yes. take the time and take da 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 and over drum and bass and smash the place to bits, you Definitely. know, skibbity, you know, sort of vibes. Yeah. Go fast or go slow. So yeah. the, the, the rapping, you can rap, there's no doubt about that. So drum and bass will be an easy the angle for you. I'll tell you what we you do know. to just put it to the test. You produce the beat yeah. and I'll deliver the rhymes and we can play it on the show. Yeah. Say no more. Yeah, we'll make that happen, no <laughs> doubt. Big up those in the chat box as well. We ain't ignoring you. Uh, I do see you. And big up those on the text messages as well. I'll get for you shortly. But we're about to go inside a freestyle uh, right about now on this rhythm. Again, produced by who? This one here is produced, this instrumental is actually by Dr. Dre. I just love the beat actually. Yeah. Love Dr. Dre. Clean sound. Rappers type of a beat you know yeah. what I mean so all you rappers out there in your living room right now get your bars ready right we're going in yeah uh huh that's right drug music hip hop addiction coming real soon crusader in the building uh yeah that's how we doing it uh check check that's how we doing it shout out to my man DJ Madness for real Cool FM's finest Check, check, check Yo, I'm bringing it back I warned you on the last track Your style's whack and it's impossible to mask that I blast that, snatch the mic away past that Smell me like an ounce of weed hidden in my ass crack Still shitting on these MCs daily Grown men bought for any hood blood bravely Respect me, respect right back, it's all gravy But don't take the p- cause you can get peace swayzy Oh, sp- hey, hey, Ooh, hey, hey, hey Wait, 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 wait yeah. Yeah, I swear down, right? I was looking down as I was doing the sound effects, and I thought that you, you know, I knew that I said it was a freestyle. I thought that was the actual track, and I was looking to see when is he starting. <laughs> oh. Hey, listen, yeah, sound it again. Let's go with this. Wow, so talking. Shout out to everyone out there. Shout out to the whole of London and the UK for real. Look out for the album called The Interview. The interview's gonna be big. Look out for that one. Look out also for drug music, hip hop addiction, dropping real soon. Twitter, Crusader One's the only place you can get that product. For real, check me out, yo. I'm bringing it back. I warned you on the last track. Your style's whack and it's impossible to mask that. I blast rap, snatch the mic away, past that. Smell me like an ounce of weed hidden in my ass crack. Still shitting on these MCs daily. Grown men bought through any hood, blood bravely. Respect me, respect right back, it's all gravy. But don't take the pick, cause you can get P Swayze. Old school, B boys popping in the 80s. Hip hop is missing for a while here lately. Crusader, oh yeah, I'm cold chilling. Keep it 100 on wax and stay Killing them, finish them, overhand rights and body slams. We we'll live this since Planet Rock, I'm running, man. This ain't a sprint, it's a marathon with miles. Before you say you rap, try mastering your style, little homie. That's right, we represent that real hip hop for real. Shout out to all the jungle listeners out there, for real. It's Crusader win the building. Uh, so grab your wife and your children. Yeah, before you get your head filled in. Huh. Check to check, check me out, kid. Uh, check to check, check me out, yo, yo. I'm freestyling off the top. Me and my man, we're coming through whether you like it or not. Freestyle, yeah, yeah, it was hip hop. I'm Crusader win the building. I never stop. Flip flop, hey. Uh huh. Check, 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 check. Uh huh. Uh huh. Check, 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 check. A yo, super sharp shooter with the Ruga. Yo, rewind the track. I got a sound, I got a sound. Hey, 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 hey. Yo, still shining. Yo, yo, we're still rhyming. Uh huh, still shining. Uh huh, we're still rhyming. What, 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 what? Uh, yeah, 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 uh, check. Uh huh, uh huh, uh, uh. 
Check, check, check me out, kid. I yell, still amazing. Still bring bars that's blazing. Still telling them she's on wax and stop faking. Still deep frying my bars, I'm still baking. Collaborating still with my man, it's history in the making. I'm graphing on the train, the dance breaking. Punks wish you had my swag and still hating. Still with the iron fist style to push your face in. Still roll with old school breads, we get the waiting. Yeah, no while we get the waiting. Yeah, blah, blah, there's no debating. Yeah, you dudes are straight faking. Yeah, yeah, but Crusader ain't waiting. Yo, your blood is still debating. Yeah, yeah, you dudes are still faking. Yeah, check me out now. Uh, check, check, check me out, kid. Woo! That's right. Trust me. The warning. Drug music, hip hop addiction dropping real soon, man, for real. Heavy. I uh, thank you. I was, I was gonna come in on the back of you, you know, I was gonna come in on a ride a lyric. I was waiting. I was, I was waiting. waiting. Hold, hold on one minute, I've got something. Wait, wait, wait. Yo. Hold on, wait, wait, it's coming. Yo, wait, hold on. I, I got it, it's in the back of my mind. Hold on, here we go. Alright, alright, alright. Uh. Yo, wait. <laughs> I'm just playing. Man, sure. the Crusader in the building, laying it down on a uh, Dr. Dre with him there. Wow. Laying it down, man. I swear, sometimes I thought it was just, you sit uh, nice on the track, Bridget. Uh, wow. And that's Clark you. Trent, you know. That, that's Clark <laughs> Trent from Grange Hill. <laughs> Heavy stuff, I must say. Really appreciate the music, do you know what I mean? Crusader1 no uh, on Twitter. You can follow him on there. And do remember, don't forget, also on my pages as well, I'm going to upload some of the uh, videos and put it on my uh, Facebook page and, Love you know, link your name to it so people get to know how to find you. Nice. Do you know what I mean? Because we're going to make this happen. and are going to make a drum and bass tune that's, uh, that's going to blow their mind on the wait. theme can't of Grain Chill. So we've got loads more in store. Can't I'll wait. tell you that. It's going to be amazing. Really uh, looking forward to it. Thanks for coming down no and joining doubt. me in the premises today. Uh, this is the first of many and we will make it happen again we always do it you know what I mean yeah. well listen thank you very much for having me man for real it's been you a pleasure give some shouts out yeah shout out to my son Zavi shout out to my daughter Tia shout out to the missus for real shout out to Clever Monkey Joe Maha for real collaborating on this, this this album the interview shout out to my boy OBX shout out to Special K shout out to my man Big Roll and everybody else doing this whole thing man for real yeah oh. check I got one more, it's how we're going out. Uh, check, 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 uh huh. What, 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 what is going on? Uh, check, 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 here we go, here we go, check me out, yo. Yo, when it comes to real rap, you know I'm pretty and willing. Catch me in the back with the B boys chilling, stay winning. No gimmicks or effects, we keep it old school like D night is in your deck. Real rhyming, stay immaculate with timing. Still shining, yes, and the flow still blinding. Loose talker, get the blade Skywalker. Blood from the pen on my page, the rap author. Top billing, verbally, mentally drilling. Priceless, and your raps ain't worth a shilling. I done told you, break the back, snap, fold you. Take that and hear the verbal smack that I owe you. Whack MCs, you're giving me that awkward act. You hear the wind from the blade when I'm walking by. Sound white, slice your rap style open. Catch me in the lab, mixing up the potion. Flow like the ocean wave. I'm eternally here You can find me with the fossils in an ancient cave Seen crazy days I keep a poisonous tongue that's symbolic to an axe or a razor blade Woo! Nice one Loving those flavours man The Crusader in the building and thanks a lot for coming down and sharing some of your knowledge and uh, memories of the days of old, of uh, the good old Grange Hill days. Anytime. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue watching it though, you know, because after you left, right, it's sort of gone a bit boring. I don't, I don't know. It's like maybe, I'm not sure what it is. Maybe I've got, I, I realised how old I am now. But watching the older days, the nostalgia sort of came out of it after your season yeah. sort of thing. When it, when, it, when it sort of went like, you know, the same old, same old sort of sitcom, uh, not sitcom, you know, that sort of programmes on TV. Do you know what? It's funny because a lot of people say that. A lot of people say that to me. Um, and I'm not sure if that's a thing where at that particular time in Green Jill, there wasn't anybody that you could really relate to. Yeah, as far that's as right. Yeah. Someone that you actually knew as well. Yeah. Because I think, it, I think uh, it was after you, then it was the girl, the issue with the girl with the baby, the pregnant. Wasn't it not Justine Dean? Uh, Justine Dean was my time. Right, okay. Yeah, that, that was, I, that think, was, that, I think she stayed on actually after I left. Yeah, she, she did. Be, uh, yeah, yeah. Sean Maguire. Yeah, that's right. right. That's right, yeah. Um, they, they, they had a storyline, and it was, I think it was Ju Justine Dean's friend, which I think was Christine or. Cr 
Something like that. And then they had the issue of a baby and, you know, a yes. young teenage parent and that sort of thing. So they did try and tackle the issues, which did work yes. at the time. But I just got up to after season 11 and it sort of just started to fizzle out again. I don't yeah. find myself coming back from the studio or playing out and saying, yeah, I've got to watch Great Jill. I don't, I don't do it no anymore. Do you know what I mean? It sort of fizzled out. I think you was probably getting older as well. When yeah. You, you know, you probably discovered new things like, you know, girls and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, there as you go. You <laughs> <laughs> as time progresses, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I've got another project here, right, which is something that we're working on uh, it's the first ever Jungle Rhythm Rider project so you know as they do with like Bashman they'll have one version of a track and then all these different artists Bounty, Beanie whatever it is okay. they'll feature on the track and uh, we've got so many already so far featured on this Stagalag Rhythm is uh, General Levy uh, Tipper Irie from the Saxon oh, Sound wow. and the Free Saxon Sound artists as well on okay. the hard way uh, Daddy Colonel Papa Levi oh, wow. uh, and Senior Sandy got Ragga Twins done their own version as well Ragga Junior Twins. Dangerous is doing a version there's so many others out there Navigator's doing a version Version, okay. Do you know what I mean? Let me see what you think it is and see okay. if you just listen to it okay. and then see if you can uh, sit something on it. So it's just a jungle rhythm oh, wow. uh, using a, a oh, famous. Right now? Yeah, right now. Oh, right now. Oh, just oh, to have okay. a listen to it and see if you feel like you can come out with something on it. Okay. Go ahead with it. Okay. It's called a Stagalag uh, 2000 and Beyond Rhythm Rider Package and it's done at 165 BPM. So oh, see wow. what you think it is. Oh, Lord of mercy. I like it already. Uh, come on, let's go. Hit it with the ones and twos. Come on, hit it with the ones and twos. Me lit 10 G, I me feel like we. Me fly to the shop, they want them cover Sachi. Me buy two gums, and me feel iry. Me head back to the man at that a Acton City. Me reaching and me drum, me be lost if I sense it. Say to me feel nice, and me feel it randy. Say me pick up me phone, and me call Beverly. Catch you me at the she pushing. Hey, Selecta! Friends are gonna get, hey, we love Selecta! <laughs> Ah, oh, Lord of mercy. You're taking me back to my roots right now, son. Lord of mercy. Ah, oh. Lick 10 G and me feel like we. Me fly to the shop, they want the Cobra Sarchi. Me buy two gums and me feel iry. Me head back to the man at that Acton City. Me reaching and me drum, me be lost if I can see. Say to me feel nice and me feeling handy. Me pick up the phone and me call Beverly. Cause to me have the she pushing the kid. Hey, 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 ping, 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 You're gonna feature on this one too. I'm sending this out tonight. Yeah, we got old school rocker saying sound boy killing tune. Yeah, but you don't know. We How many people featured on this version now? A new edition, the Crusader. Oh yeah, for sure. We having fun right now, man. For My real. gosh. <laughs> we got the phone line crew. Maximum respects to all y'all locked on, and we're taking them through right here on the hashtag TFT show, the Friday takeover. Shout to Ian and E11. Big up to John in Sid Cup. Out to. Uh, Reckler once again, bless up my virgin. We got the 771, loving the flavours as well, thank you. We'll get through some of your text messages very shortly, alright? Do hold on for that. We get back into the Friday takeover schedule. We got John and Sip Cups and uh, Wicked Set. Last Friday at Stush, mate. Thanks a lot, man. That was a blazer as well. Uh, for those that caught the jungle set, just before my man, Dr. Escache, I tell you, we'd have bun down the premises. Absolutely amazing. Big up to Robert and uh, Dennis for Stush taking place with the black and white ball at the hidden. Real showcase down there. For those that stayed on to the last set as well in the garage arena, we had to come back for five till six alongside CKP. Big up to Reckler. Said, uh, did shoot near Grain Chill in Bushy, South Oakey. Rank Pinewood Studios. Are we talking about the Grain Chill? It was filmed all over the place, apparently, you know what I mean? Another one here. Says, Grain Chill was filmed in uh, Bore and Will fam. That's actually very true. Yeah, of course. Well, well, he, he, he said that already. and He should know he was there. <laughs> The fella that played Roland uh, used to go labyrinth in Dalston Lane. 
Oh, right, okay. So he was a raver. You know them ones there. He would never live that down to say, I don't know whether he would want to, but, you know, people must see him now. Roly! It's like Zamo, those sort of faces. People just say that, do you know what I mean? So, you know, do people walk up to you on the streets and still say, hey, I know that face. Listen, if I had a pound for everyone that said to me that, the first thing guaranteed... If I meet someone who's never met me before, yeah. I guarantee you the first thing they say is, don't I know your face? Yeah. If I had a pound for everyone who said that, I'd be a very rich man right yeah. now. Yeah. And like I said, it's just amazing to me that all these years later, people still connect with a face. It's yeah. crazy. It's, ama- it's the faces. So, and again, when I was doing the poster for, for Facebook and looking at the, your, your actual screenshot, the picture that was up there, it says BBC, <laughs> and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. It's, it's exactly, exactly the, the same. same. Yeah. You're, it's just, you're just a bigger guy now. That's it. It's good living, I mean? man. It's that cocoa butter. You know that Palmer's one that you yeah. get from Power yeah, yeah. That, that cocoa butter keep you in good shape right there, man. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> no, I hear that, man. Uh, big up to my uh, my brother Tony T Free. Uh, he says, uh, "Told you he was heavy." <laughs> Fat show. Uh, you need to get paid for this. Um, <laughs> no, nah, I, I, yeah, it's all good. It's in the love of music, and we spread the word out there worldwide on the global outer international well calllondon.com. We hashtag the TFT show every Friday, uh, where we pull out forbidden fruit when it comes to guests. I'll tell you that for sure. Maximum respects to Crusader in the building. Love, love, love. Until next time.